as I said, I got very much interested in governance yeah. work, mm. but I, I I applied for jobs. I applied for jobs here and there because mm. I said, let me just go do maybe communications work, maybe mm. in an NGO or something. Mm. Now mm. that I've had this experience in media, mm. I've mm. had broadcast experience, mm. writing and all that. I'm mm. sure someone would want that experience mm. and digital media mm. as well because mm. that time digital media had not yeah. really hit, picked, uh, yeah. uh, picked up. And mm. I think Facebook, people had just mm. got into Facebook mm. in 2008. Mm. So not mm. really quite big, but I had had that experience because mm. of working at Nation Digital, where we had even tried to start a social media mm. platform. Mm. Um, so I thought with that experience, hey, I would be a hot cake, but mm. it took a while before. Mm. And then one day, I remember my uh, my brother, my elder brother, sent me a, a, a job ad because he had really been pushing me. He told me, I think it's time you left, mm. you know, nation. Mm. Yeah, so he he sent me an ad for Transparency International Kenya. Mm. They're looking for an advocacy and communications officer. Mm. So I looked at it. It looked complex. The job looked complex. The job looked... And then TI had just been through some kind of um, turbulent times yeah turbulent times mm. between 206 mm. uh 208 mm -hmm. which was fresh in everybody's mind mm. in fact i covered mm. some of those mm. very heated press conferences mm. you know one wing is calling a conference another mm. one is calling you mm. another one you know mm. so I, I i covered a lot of that and i remember my experience you know covering the ti when they had had some some, some of that tab, uh, some of those uh, uh issues uh, mm. some of the governance challenges mm. And so I thought, I'm like, hey, is this the same TI Kenya I had covered mm. just one or two years ago? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Mm. So I just sat on it. And then he called me. I remember that it was a Friday night and I was one shift. Mm. Have you applied for that job? I think the deadline is today. Mm. Ah. So before I finished my shift at midnight, I think I just had like 30 minutes at 11.30 p.m. In fact, I, I'm always like, I'd like to go to see that. What time that email one mm. day, just go into the TI mm. email archive and see what time my email hit. I applied, I remember the deadline was that day, that Friday. So of course you think, okay, Friday by midnight I have to apply. Mm. So at about 11.58 p.m. I send in my application. Mm. Yeah. So I send it in and then they call me a few uh, a few weeks after. But even by before then I'd already sat for another interview mm. at the Kenya Institute of Management. They were starting, they were doing a magazine mm. and they wanted an assistant editor. So I'd sat for an interview. Mm. Yes, and I was also waiting for the results of that. Mm. So TI called me, I do the interview. Mm -hmm. First, actually, I had to do a written interview mm -hmm. um, about writing a communications plan and the monitoring and evaluation. So all these things that I'd learned in ICL on M&D, yeah. programming, all came into play. And mm. I was able to actually, I guess, mm. do, a very, do a very good written exam. Mm. I mean, a written, written interview. Mm. So then they called me for an oral. Mm. I did the oral. Mm. Then uh, they, they called me for another oral now mm. because my the person who was going to be my, the head of programs at mm. that time was not there. Mm. And and so they needed her to also speak to me. Mm -hmm. So I, I went in for another one. Mm. So they took a bit of time to call me. By then, by the time they're calling me now to tell me I've gotten the job, I had actually already resigned Nation, mm. resigned from Nation and what do what to serve. It was a long notice period. It was three months notice period. Oh, wow. So I was still serving my notice period because it was long, but mm. I had resigned because I got in a job at the Kenya Institute of Management mm. uh, to do their magazine. Mm. So I was preparing. I'd even done one or two uh, articles and sessions already, mm. interviews, mm. as I was waiting to join Kim. Mm. Um, then K TI calls. So I got very confused because I'm here, I've resigned, I'm waiting to go to Kim, and I've already given my commitment. Mm -hmm. And then TI calls. Uh, but even the, the pay is not different. It's more mm. or less the same, mm. you know. Um, but I knew I was leaving Nation, that I knew. But I, as I said, I'd been very interested in the work of in governance, work of governance, governance yeah. and I just wanted to grow myself in that field. Mm. So t I got in, I, I thought, let me just look at it. Mm. So I went back, looked at the JD, I remember TI's JD contract and JD combined had like eight to 10 pages. It was thick. It was thick. At mm. Nation, I remember when we were signing on, it was half a, a page. page. Yeah. There were like three tasks. Yeah. <laughs> and then at, even at Kim, it was just a page. That so this TI had 10 pages, 8 to 10, and I was like, wow, okay. So I really thought I, I was so conflicted. I was very conflicted. And everyone I would ask, I remember even telling my parents, and my parents told me, don't touch TI. Don't even think about it. You know, I remember that time my dad was working abroad, so he didn't, I mean, out, outside the country, so he didn't um, give me the feedback directly, but through my mother. Because I just when I told my mother one day she was working here in town, I told her, but they have gotten a job at TI. <gasps> she said, you know, when you talk about TI, I get a headache. All those issues. And then the issues you're going to work on. Corruption. Yeah. Ay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just get a headache. Please don't. So she sent me a message later from my dad. My dad had said, um, I think the work at TI would be good for you. It would give you a lot of exposure nationally and maybe even globally. 
but I don't think you should go there for now. That was his message. So I didn't have my parents' blessings. But I was still agonizing. I would still go back to the GD. I'm like, surely this is something that will grow me. And this is what I really want to do. You know, especially after that experience with the elections where I said, next time I'm not going to be on this side reporting. I want to be on the other side, mm. you know, uh, at least creating change, you know, creating. And there are a lot of those, a lot of discussions on the reform agenda then. Con discussions around the, you know, um, review of the constitution had picked up. You know, and there are all these recommendations that were now being looked at uh, for implementation from the Krigler Commission report, from the Waki Commission, from, you know, all these products of all these processes that we had gone through uh, before the Grand Coalition came into place as part of the mediation uh, process. And then there's the big Agenda agenda 4, you remember, um, uh, process, mm. yeah, in terms of reforming our governance system so that the next elections would be. Uh, peaceful, fair, uh, uh, credible, and peaceful. Mm. So I was, I was really into that work, and I thought TI would be the vehicle that would enable me to contribute to that space. So I asked everyone, and everyone told me, hey, but they first of all, Sheila, why do you want to leave Nation? Nation, you had a job for up to 60 years. <laughs> mm. TI is giving you a job for one year, because mm. we'd sign contracts of one year, mm. you know? At least Kim was also a bit of a long-term contract. Mm. So why mm. would you think about leave nation? Okay, mm. Kim is okay. Maybe mm. you have a longer contract. Mm. But TI, one year. Mm. So I, I sat on it. I sat on it. In fact, I didn't give TI my decision yet. I just told them, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. So I asked everyone, everyone, so Michelle, you're crazy, first of all. To go to TI, leave, leave nation, no job security, and then all that work you're going to do on corruption. No, just do something easy. A lot of my friends would tell me that, some of my colleagues. I, but I, I remember I was so agonized, agonized. But one day, it's, I kept on asking my, that time my husband, he was, we're not married yet, we're mm. just dating. Mm. And so I'd ask him, he would not give me a response. He told me, you know, you have to do, I don't want to make the decision, no one can make the decision for you. Mm. So finally, one day, just to put me out of agony, he just told me, you know, when I, I, I think about what you're passionate about and the issues you talk about, I think the, TI, the work at TI would suit you. And the moment he said that, I I, just I, I went it. and signed the contract and I took the contract the next day. I just needed that confirmation mm. because I wanted to, but no one mm. was backing me. Mm. But when he told me, I said, and, and he's a very critical person. And he mm. had also interacted with TI, he had also mm. covered TI mm. at some point. Mm. So I knew someone who understands TI, mm. he understands governance work, mm. he understands mm. me mm. and he thinks I can do it. Mm. So let me do it. Mm. So yeah, I signed on to TI. They didn't. They they they, they I I joined mm. in June 2009. Mm. Of course, I had to turn mm. down the Kim offer. Mm. You are very upset. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, because I, I they had known I was coming. Mm. Yeah, but then that set off my my journey mm. to in TI, mm. and I, mm. I I never regretted mm. ever ever mm. joining despite mm. all the feedback I got. Yeah. And actually, even for my parents who mm. initially had said don't, yeah. my dad sent me a message a month. Or a month and a half later mm. and told me i don't know what decision you made on ti mm. but on further reflection and, mm. and and prayer i think you should give it a try mm. this is almost a month and a half later mm. i did want to tell him that you know i'd already made the decision mm. i said thank you mm. I, I'll, I'll let you know what i do mm. But I'd already made the decision, but mm. I wanted him to know <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> to, to know that yes, he had. Mm. I, I considered mm. his opinion. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So they were also quite supportive mm. because mm. Uh, they thought about it. They said, yeah, actually, mm. I, we, mm. we know what you like to speak about. Yeah. And yeah. maybe maybe that is a yeah. path for you. The, 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 the things that are welling up in your heart are now yes. beginning to yes. actually get support from others. And I, th there is there's something vital in there, you know, um, support from the close ones yes uh you know for 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 us to give for for it yeah. to be given um regardless you know yeah. um uh, condition unconditionally <laughs> yes exactly yeah yeah because it's, i also didn't want to be to, to be a fight I, I i and i know when i made the decision i said wow i don't know i'm going to explain this to them mm. but they will have to understand one day mm, mm. uh but then later now my dad just yeah after prayer he says after praying i think mm. this is the that's, this is the that, right that's decision very, that's very and so nice. I was very confident. But it, it, he needed to take the time also to process yes. it. Yes. So, and I'm glad he did. And, yeah. Uh, but the time he was communicating to you that yeah. uh, he's pondered on it. Yes. Uh, he, and he prayed. Had, and and prayed. prayed about yeah, it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Which, which was good. Mm -hmm.